I'm not 100% sure why I'm being asked to share this story, but I'm guessing it's because somebody needs to hear it. When I was 16, I went into what I thought was going to be a normal day at biology class. And when I walked in, all the desks were arranged in a circle in the middle of the room. And the instructor, who had always been a really amazing, loving, kind instructor, was super militant, super scary, and just looked at us and said, sit down, shut up. You are not allowed to move, to speak at all, and anyone who does will immediately fail my class. And we were all stunned. I, I get like, just thinking about it, because I was a straight A student and grades were really important to me, and I was just like terrified. So we're all sitting there silently, nervous out of our minds, and in the middle of this circle that we were all sitting in, there was one desk, and on this desk was a bowl with a goldfish in it. And he looked at us and he took the goldfish and he put it on the desk and he walked out and he shut the door. And we all just looked at each other, just like, what do we do? You know, like, obviously it violated like everything inside of me to like watch this fish die. And also I heard the instruction. If you speak, if you get up, if you move, you will automatically fail the class. And so we all sat there looking to each other to do something because we didn't want it to be us. And what was a very painful, it felt like an eternity, it was probably like two and a half minutes later, Hannah, Hannah B, got up and said, fuck this, and took the goldfish and put it back in the bowl. And when she did that, he came out and he looked at all of us and he said, look what the world has done to you. You've betrayed yourself. For what? And I think about that lesson all the time because I learned in that moment that I am never going to be that person ever again. That when I see something that is wrong, even if it's just me, I'm going to stand up and I'm going to do what's right. And I've done that over and over again in my life in very scary situations. But I'm sad for people who haven't learned that lesson because there are so many things that are wrong that if you're too scared to make a difference, you won't make right.